Yo, what's up everybody? It's KB here. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys the official Windows Package Manager. So I have a lot to show and a lot to talk about this. So let's just get into it. So just in case, if you don't know what is Windows Package Manager, it's basically a software repository from where you can download the lots of softwares. You know one place for many softwares it's like a app store okay and uh, just in case if you have used linux you know how and what package manager is it's like the software repository as i said already okay so if you have used linux you have an idea but if you have not then i will show you in this video how it works and uh, it's a pretty cool thing because from one place you can get almost all the important softwares that is available on that repository so let's get into it without making you bored by the way if you're wondering how did i get this wallpaper then i have already made a video on it how to get the live wallpapers on windows for free so i will put link in the description for that you can go there and uh, get this live wallpaper but if you want to get the specific like rainbow and uh, you know this matrix style thingy then uh, i may have to do the separate video for this but do the comment i will do something okay <laughs> off the topic but now let's get into the real thing okay so it's not like it's the first time we are getting the package manager for windows it was already existed uh, maybe some of you guys already know about this there was the third party package manager for windows called chocolatey and we are not going to talk about this because we are going to talk about the um, the official windows package manager and this is the official blog from here you can learn more about the windows package manager and you can learn how it works and all that okay and this is the official uh, github page from here you can download the package manager so first of all you will have to download the package manager otherwise it won't work okay but uh, even if you don't want to download this okay i will show you the way to get the softwares individually single uh, from the same repository okay so but not doing the command line so uh, i will put link in the description for this site from here you can download the microsoft desktop app installer so just click on it and it will get downloaded okay you don't need to do anything it's just a normal software you just need to install it so we're just gonna wait a little and then we will install because i want to do the full demo and i'm i want to show you guys how it works okay all right it's downloaded if I go to my um, download folder, you can see uh, the Microsoft desktop app installer is here. I'm just going to double click on it and it will say the app is already installed for me because I have already installed it. But in your case, it will say update or upgrade. You just have to click on upgrade. OK, and it will get installed and then you're ready just to check whether it's working or not you should open up the command prompt or powershell okay i'm just gonna open the command prompt and i'm gonna type here win get if you get error that something like that okay and um, that means it didn't work okay but if you install the uh, software the software following software here uh, it will work don't worry but uh once you install this just to make sure that it's working just type the win get command here and you will see the uh you know instruction here that how to use the win get command so by using this win get command we can actually install softwares directly from the command prompt without going on to the official site okay so for example i want to install vlc okay win get so if you have used a linux before then you know how it works okay the commands are different but the functionality is same so i'm gonna type here win get and then uh, install and a vlc maybe okay and i'm gonna hit enter and let's see if it works it, it, now it's trying to 
you can see it already downloaded and it's like it has downloaded the VLC now we just need to click on run and it will run the uh, what do you call it the package which installs the VLC or whatever software you are trying to install and you can see successfully installed so this is like without going on to the official site of the software you can get the softwares here but it's not like you will get all the softwares that is available for windows by doing this this is not the case some selected and open source and free softwares are available not all so you have to keep that in mind so this is how it works if you want to learn more about how the winget fun functionality works uh, you can go to the official site of the Winget, you know, Windows Package Manager uh, blog and from there you can learn how it works and you can also learn uh, other ways to use this tool too, okay? You can search for uh, software, you know, so let's try one more time. I don't want to make you guys bored, so that's why I'm just, you know, so Winget, let's say I want to search for some software. So okay search what i want to search chrome maybe oh chrome and let's see so you can see uh the the it has searched for chrome that means uh, the chrome is available uh for the winget so i mean windows package manager so we can install install the chrome by doing the winget install chrome command so, so that's how you install and use the winget command or windows package manager thingy okay but the most exciting thing is the win install dot app site because from here you can choose the package like you can make a package of different software or even a single software so let's say you want to install the firefox you can just click on this plus icon and after that you can click on generate script let's just do that for example okay i'm just going to download this dot bat file and i'm going to keep it because and uh, you'll get this when install dot bat so i'm just going to double click on it hit run and it will actually run the win gets um you know command just like we did manually but it's automated script that's the only difference here okay so i don't want to install the firefox right now so i'm just gonna close it okay but this is just for demo so let's say for example you want to install multiple you can do the same thing let's say i want to install the brave browser gimp um anything you know uh, uh let's say notepad plus plus i can click on generate script this is for those people who doesn't want to use the command this is like automated system See, so now you just need to download the bat file okay and run that and it will automatically download the softwares that you have chosen okay it's that simple so let's say you want you don't want to use either of them like you don't want to use the windows package manager but you still want to benefit from this like from this repository of the software in a software repository so what you can do here is that just go to the site okay and uh, like uh, what I'm trying to say here is that you can use this site software repository as a the normal Windows store and you just download the software individually one by one and install. So you can do that. So let's say for example, you want to download the uh, Firefox, just click on it, the name. And after that, you can see we have download.msi option which means it will download the full package directly without uh, the any script or anything like that so you can just download the softwares manually too and if you go to apps section okay just 
click on apps section here you can see all the apps available in this repository and actually as of now there are um, over thousands of apps almost like more than thousands so not not much but i think it's a lot you won't be using all these applications but some of them are useful for example let's say you know the essential things 7-zip i use it to unzip my zip files and rar files you know all the compressed files i use this so i have already installed it but if i want to i can download it from here so i can also look up to this um you know repository for more softwares so i find it really useful you know it's the uh, windows package manager is for nerds i mean you know if you want to use it i mean it's okay use it but uh, the repository we can it, like it's like we can access the repository which means we can individually download the softwares we don't need to use the winget command so it's great thing like we can find lots of free softwares so like this aimp player which is a free um, music player and it's amazing because it has lots of skins and all of that so any get which is a um, i think it's a remote control application so you'll find lots of useful applications too and uh, essential applications too so you, if you want to get a full package of your uh, essential applications you just click on these plus icons and plus icons select all of your uh, essential applications and then install them at once by using this so this is this is a really useful thingy actually okay <laughs> so hope you got the idea but uh, yeah that's it i'm just trying to browse here trying to find other things okay c cleaner it's here okay so you'll find lots of useful useful applications too that's what i'm trying to say here i mean yeah that's what i'm trying to say and you can also go to packs which will uh, categorize the you know softwares like uh, web browsers it will categorize the web browser pack you know you can download the entire pack or you can choose the individual uh, softwares from the pack so that's good and uh, yeah hope you got the idea and you can see there are so many packs oh it has a dark and light mode nice i like it <laughs> so that's it i think uh, that's all i want to say about this windows package manager and uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, yeah i will put link in the description for all the sites that i mentioned uh, this one and this one and the official um, blog post of the windows package manager from there you can learn more about the winget command and all that so for that so i will put uh, almost all the important links in the description you can go there and yeah have fun with the windows package manager that's it i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye